I'm thinking of selling this in my wig store so pay attention closely if you're thinking that you like you'd like a white wig like this with a monofilament top and pretty much all the bells and whistles hey everyone I'm Angela welcome to silver linings and today's focus is on Felicity I have her on my head right now I'm going to tell you some interesting things about this style from John Renault which is very hard to find right now on the web. More about that right here, right now on Silver Linings. I decided to re-review this wig for you because when I initially reviewed, um, that's my doorbell, when I, originally, when I originally reviewed Felicity, I was, I don't know, two or three months into learning about wigs and I I just, once again, I have to admit I did not do a good job. So I'm revisiting some of those early reviews that I did because some of these wigs are just absolutely beautiful and I think that they go by the wayside and people tend to forget about them. So what I did was I went back and I looked at this review here, which was done on April 21st. 2018 you can see the date right there April 21st 2018 and I think I did my very first wig review sometime in February of 2018 and um, so same wig you can see um, I have her on my head a little bit differently and then I reviewed her again in the color Oyster 56 F 51 and um, and then I did a short video of both comparing um, color number 60 and 56 F51 and that was a very short video so that my viewers I didn't have very many subscribers then but so that my reviewers could see them held up side by side I mean and look at the difference now here's what I want to share with you among a few other things Knowing what I know about wigs now, and I think I might have said this in my last review, if I had it to do all over again, this is a beautiful wig, but what I'm finding is, yes, I can wear the pure white wigs. Yes, I can. And my own hair is pure white. But if I had it to do over again, what I ended up doing was I ended up sending back 56F51, and again, if you follow me, you know that's one of my favorite combinations because it's got that depth of color and the the mono top where you can where it looks like it's your own scalp. It's just such a realistic looking um, piece of alternative hair. But for some of you that are here today and you love, 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 love color number 60. And I'm not saying I don't. I just, if I'm going, if I was going to do it all over again, I would have kept the 56F51. But what I decided to do was, um, oh, and by the way, and here's my own hair. See now, look at how white my hair is. Now you're looking at a monitor, so monitors always make everything for whatever reason. I'm, I'm not a color expert, I'm not a lighting expert, but for whatever reason the monitors seem to always present things either much too white or much too yellow. And so, but look, look at uh, when I did this, this uh, Sunday Spa series back in January 30, look at how white my own hair is. But I have yet to um, see any wig that is exactly like the color of my own white hair. And so I think that that's why in the, in the beginning, and for those of you who, who love white wigs, you'll, you'll understand this. You, what we try to do is get as close to our natural hair as possible. And um, and I think that that's a good strategy, especially if you're um, if you're a little self-conscious about wearing a wig. I think it's a good strategy to stick to your own hair texture, try to get as close to your own hair color, whatever length your hair was when 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 you last had hair. For me, you can see that this is pretty much my own hair length. I I do need a trim right here. It needs about a good 
two, maybe three inches taken off. But I haven't been to the salon since COVID and I don't plan to go back anytime soon. So, excuse me, I had to have some coffee. It's decaf though. So, having said that, what I decided to do was I wanted to see if Felicity is still for sale. So the very first thing that I did was I went over to Jean Renault um, because I don't think in my original reviews I had put any specs. I did not talk about the cap, any of that. I wasn't doing any of that back in those days. I just will show you here that the wig is made of smart lace, mimics a natural hairline, and it really, really, really does and uh, I mean, there's there's the hairline, and you really can't see. You really can't see, especially when you get close up. She has a single monofilament top, which means that you can part her anywhere where you have right up there. See the number two? You can part her in the middle. You can part her on the left side. You can part her on the right side. And I have really come to love that. And then she has that open wefted back, so you have a nice cool cap on your head where you have that great air circulation. She has the velveteer tabs and the little stays inside so that you can press it close to your head. And of course she has the adjustable tabs so that if she's too big, you can cinch her in. Now I will tell you, uh, for me, this cap feels somewhat snug. I am an average to large, more toward the large size than the average. So if you're large, uh, this this cap is probably not for you. But sometimes they'll say average or and, and then I'll put them on my head and they'll fit perfectly. Sometimes they'll say average and they'll fit snug. So um, that's that's something I think that a lot of wig reviewers, it drives us nuts. Okay, so then I decided to see if this wig was still available online because remember I told you that I purchased this wig three years ago and some wigs are still available. They become classics and some aren't. And the reason that I'm telling you this is because I'm thinking of selling this in my wig store. So pay attention closely if you're thinking that you like, you'd like a white wig like this with a monofilament top and pretty much all the bells and whistles. So wig.com, I did not find it. These are the places that I went to. I'll just blow through them for you. Uh, Paula Young, uh, there was nothing there. And Paula Young um, does carry some Jean Renault wigs, but they did not have this one. And then uh, name brand wigs, you can see here, they don't have it. And then also um, wigs.com, they don't have it. Let me turn down my volume on my phone. And then I went to Vogue Wigs. The only way that the only one that they have left in stock is is this one in root beer float. And then finally I went to Wig Outlet and they did not have it either. If you're interested in this wig, I am going to be working, I am working, not going to be working, I am working on my wig store. And um, it's not really a wig store. I'm not selling wigs per se. This is my personal collection. Gently used. I have never worn this wig out. I only wore her for review. Smoker free home, pet free home. And uh, I did not ever put any product or anything on this wig. She just sat in the box and it's time for me to buy more wigs, so I have to sell some of my my wigs. Now, so if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link below. You can head over to my page, my Shop My Wigs page, and just follow the prompts. It'll tell you what to do. I'm hoping to have that page completed within, I'd say, a week. Life happens. I can't make any promises, but you can always send me a private email. Um, my email address is below in the description, way down in the description. So there you can see the left side. It's a very, very pretty wig. I'm just not using her. In 
then there's the right side. And of course I've got glasses on with a very thin stem. But then I have another pair of glasses that, where did I put those? They have, that has a, not too thick, but a thicker stem. If you like this wig, head over to my page, let me know. And uh, as I said, it, I haven't found any in the color 60 at all online, which is why I did that uh, search for you. So, I think right there you might want to have a little bit of uh, maybe a little bit of product there if you wanted to keep her up. But either way, either way Felicity I think looks great and you can see that scalp right? That scalp looks so so natural. She is a I wouldn't call her a light gray. When I do not see gray I see almost a silver white but when I say silver I don't want you to think of gray I want you to think of silver like the kind of silver we get in our um, in our coins that kind of silver mixed with white I hope that helps okay everybody that's it for today I hope that wherever you are in the world where you're seeing this that you're having a wonderful day week month year life and I thank you so much for watching. And remember, everybody, look for the silver linings. They're everywhere. Bye-bye.